Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As you can tell, I'm back. I posted on my community page that I haven't been feeling well for a couple of days. And not that everyone cares, but if you do, I did go to a couple of doctors and they weren't exactly sure what it was, but I'm feeling a lot better now. So I decided I wanted to film a video for you guys today. We're gonna be trying out a foam refresh, which I've never done on my hair. I've never really used foams on my hair very much. I have seen like these refreshing type foams out there, but I haven't really paid them much attention until I saw Melinda here on YouTube. I love her channel. We actually did a collab a while back. My last uh, wash day routine was a collab with her. So definitely check her out if you haven't. I'll have her channel linked down below. I saw her doing this refreshing technique with a foam. And she actually used the Brad Mondo one first, but then she tried out this Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Refreshing Foam. And I had seen this, but again, hadn't paid too much attention to it. Hadn't seen a ton of people use this type of technique. So she really intrigued me to want to try this out. It's supposed to make your hair really like voluminous and look more curly than it is. So obviously I was very interested to try it. I've had this on my list to film for a bit and today is my second day here, so I thought I'd do it today. Anyways, I feel like this is kind of a long intro, but if you are new and you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so down below. I do mostly hair videos on this channel, but I also throw in some random other beauty and lifestyle things as well. I also do have a second channel where I talk about fragrance, but let's just go ahead and get into the refresh. So my hair isn't looking too bad today. It is actually pretty nice. I would totally wear it out like this. We do have a little bit of frizz, which I think we're gonna get with this technique anyways, but I'm okay with that. If I can get big, voluminous, curly looking hair, I can deal with that. I am going to use my slow misting spray bottle that I finally got on Amazon. I don't know why it took me so long to get one of these, but it is amazing. Let me show you guys. You just push in twice and then it just goes on. I didn't hold it down and it just like continues, but I don't wanna get water everywhere. So I'm kind of gonna like split my hair down the center and do it side by side. That's kind of what Melinda did. And I also feel like that'll work the best to get everything evenly distributed. So again, push it in twice. Melinda kind of did like a light finger detangle as she was going through her hair. And my hair is a little bit like tangly right now, so. I am kind of following the routine that Melinda did just because I loved her results. And she said she didn't get her hair sopping wet, just like really damp if that makes sense, but not to where it's like dripping. Kind of like lightly comb through with my fingers. I'm not doing anything too intense, just like kind of going over it, making sure all that water is absorbed. All right, we're gonna go in with the foam now, which I just realized still has tape on it. I also have my blow dryer diffuser here. This is the X Tava blow dryer and the Black Orchid X Tava diffuser head, which I love this thing. It's so big and it's just perfect. Anyways, I don't know if you're supposed to shake this up or not. It just says scrunch into hair to refresh and redefine curls. I can't remember exactly how many pumps she did. I think maybe two or three. Um, let's do like two and a half. This is definitely like a pretty, oh, I like dripped on the floor. Definitely a pretty lightweight foam. It's not like the mousse from this line or anything, but it does smell the same. I love the smell of these Curl Talk products. I'm gonna have to clean up what I got on the floor. Let's go to this side. Again, like two and a half, three pumps, I guess. This is very lightweight, so it definitely does kind of make a mess if you're not careful just because it's kind of watery and it can fly out of your hands. Keep going out of focus, sorry guys. And then if I remember right, I think she took like half a pump more and just scrunched it, focusing more on the ends. Okay, and then if I remember right, she put her diffuser on like medium or high heat. We'll start with me, whoop. We'll start with medium. And then I can't remember if she did medium or high speed, but she kind of just like really messed her hair up, was just like scooping it up, leaving the blow dryer turned on, not really turning it on or off, which is usually what I do if I'm being really careful on my wash day and I don't want to get frizz, but I'm gonna trust her technique. 
and kind of just go crazy with it, scoop my hair up and blow dry it like that. So I think this is like pixie method diffusing, but you're just doing it a lot more messily, I guess, so. I don't normally do this like scrunch my hair dry like I usually use an oil but I know it's not for everyone so I kind of want to try just doing it with my dry hands this time I'm also just gonna shake out my hair a little bit all right you guys I can definitely tell oh I'm out of focus you guys sorry I could tell that my hair was like getting curlier and I don't know how much you can see because my hair is so dark but it looks like I have better shrinkage and I definitely have a lot of volume. I feel like the only difference I'm noticing here is that Melinda's hair seemed to almost clump a little bit better. My hair is a little bit more separated, which I don't mind because I feel like I have a lot of volume. I feel like I have a lot of shrinkage and I feel like just the ends and the roots of my hair seem to be curled better if that makes sense like usually the majority of my shrinkage and the most curly my hair looks is like through like the center of my hair and then my roots will be a little bit more stretched out and my ends will be a little bit more stretched out but with this technique i'm really noticing that my hair is like curly the whole way through if that makes sense so let me show you guys the back Wow, that's so pretty how my hair like is so curly around my face. It's just not usually like that. And I just feel like it's so full and voluminous. You guys, the more I'm seeing this, the more I'm looking at it in the mirror and in the viewfinder, the more I like it. I feel like my hair feels still just like a little bit producty or like the cast didn't like fully scrunch out, but it's nothing crazy. Honestly, it is nothing like when my hair is over moisturized and you just feel that like producty sticky feeling it's not like that i hate that more personally with this it's just a little bit of texture i guess it's like if you put a texturizing spray on your hair that's how it feels and i do have a little bit of frizz but honestly not really much more than i had before i'm really impressed with the fact that with how much volume this is i don't really have that much frizz it's so fun i'm kind of obsessed the more I look at it, like I said, the more obsessed I am. Now I wish I had somewhere to go. I'm gonna stop rambling, but I think you guys get the idea. I really, really like this. And I honestly feel like it just like looks better the more you kind of play around with it and fluff it up and it kind of has time to set or settle, if that makes sense. I know sometimes right after your hair is dry, you don't get the most volume or it takes a little bit for it to kind of fluff up properly. You guys definitely need to try this at least. It might not work for your hair. I know we all have different hair types, but I definitely recommend giving it a try. This, whoops, that lid is not on right. This Curl Talk foam is like seven or eight dollars, I think. It's very affordable. I would definitely recommend checking it out just to see if it works for you. But yeah, you guys, that is gonna be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this fun little video of me trying out a different technique. Again, I know I try out a lot of different things on this channel, but I kinda tend to, in my everyday routine, stick to the same thing. So I like to branch out and try different things, especially for you guys, just because I haven't tried everything. There's so many things to try when it comes to any hair, but like curly, wavy hair, actually, there's a lot more than it seems like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to hear it. Let me know if you're gonna try this out as well. And I would also love to know what your current favorite products are right now for refreshing your hair. Leave them in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below if you have not already. Love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.